Plan now for the Perseid meteor shower. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regas, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plow Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. We've got good news and some even better news. The good news is that the Perseid meteor shower, traditionally the best meteor shower of the year, will peak Wednesday night, August 12th through Thursday morning the 13th. But the even better news is that the waning crescent moon won't rise until just before sunrise, which will give us nice dark skies for watching the Perseids this year. And the reason we're giving you two weeks warning is because we want you to have plenty of time to plan ahead. Let's show you how to watch. Simply go outside Wednesday night, August 12th, after midnight through dawn Thursday morning and look straight up. To see the most meteors, here's rule number one. Hope it's clear out, because if it's cloudy or raining, you won't see any meteors at all. Rule number two, get as far away from city lights as possible, because even though you may see a handful of the brightest meteors from city locations, the city lights, like moonlight, flood the sky with so much sky glow that nowadays many of the meteors in a meteor shower are hidden from view. Rule number three, observe while lying on the ground on a blanket or in a lawn chair. In other words, keep looking up. No telescopes, no binoculars. Rule number four, stay outside for at least a couple of hours, preferably after midnight, and have plenty of patience. If you follow these rules, you can expect to see several meteors per hour and maybe many more. Simply lie back and constantly scan the sky, and usually when you least expect it, a meteor or even two will zip across the sky. Now, although some astronomy magazines will tell you that you may see 60 meteors per hour, which would boil down to about one a minute. Meteors really don't operate on a time schedule. You may see 10 of them in two minutes and then have to wait 20 minutes to see another one. But that's the fun of it because each meteor is a total surprise. Okay, we've got our skies set up for Wednesday night to Thursday morning, August 12th to the 13th, around 3.30 a.m. facing northeast. And although it's summertime, don't be surprised to see some of winter's brightest stars. Close to the horizon is Orion the Hunter, Taurus the Bull, and the Gemini Twins. And up to your left, the dimmer stars of the mythical hero Perseus, for whom this meteor shower is named. Wonder why they're called the Perseids? Well, meteor showers are named for the constellation from where the meteors appear to radiate. But what exactly is a meteor? Let's take you out into space and explain. Meteors are the flashes of light we see when tiny specks of space debris slam into our Earth's atmosphere and light up. You see, every time a comet visits our sun, it sheds tons of debris in its path. And eventually, this debris gets spread out along the comet's path. Now, if our Earth plows into this path of comet debris, these tiny pieces of comet litter will slam into our Earth's atmosphere, traveling many miles per second. The particles themselves are far too small to be seen, but the friction of these particles hitting the air causes the air surrounding them to heat up and make a visible streak of light. And we call these streaks of light meteors, or incorrectly, falling stars. The meteors we see during the Perseid meteor shower each August are debris from a comet named Swift-Tuttle. And our Earth plows through its debris field about the same time every August. The Perseid shower is one of the oldest recorded meteor showers in history and has been seen every August for over 2,000 years. Now, let me remind you of the single most important rule for observing a meteor shower, which is you must constantly scan the sky and have patience. You may see no meteors for 20 minutes or so, and then all of a sudden, two or three may flash by all at once. But each time you see a Perseid streak across the sky, remind yourself that what you're actually seeing is a tiny piece of comet litter plunging to its fiery death. Head for the shower. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.